Well, I thought I'd uh, document it after the fact. Uh, I've got this piece of uh, rubber. I'm not exactly sure what kind. Uh, Buna, maybe? Um, it was for doing some uh, fender uh, gaskets, stuff like that. So uh, Anyway, what I did was, in order to capture the rod inside the rubber here, I just took my staple gun and folded it over there and pushed it down in here. And this foam is... Obviously, the staple can go right into it, but it's firm enough that I can get a good press, and uh, so that way it would it would staple right through. So let's go ahead and uh... well, that never seems centered, does it? Uh, anyway, that shot right through there. And then what I did was I took it, I turned it over, and basically just. Uh... Push those over and gave them a little tap. And actually, they're on there quite nicely. So, what I ended up with here is, and my hope is to have a hanging guard here, and I'm going to mount this up on the machine. And yeah, it's not pretty, it's not protected, it's not painted, but let's, uh, let's see if it actually fits the, the machine. I'm probably going to get in the way quite a bit. And now that I got the plexiglass door up and that stuff, it's a bit in the way too. And, but um, I'm kind of hoping uh, all right, that went up over, that one went up over. I forgot to factor in the fact that uh, it was a pre-bent, it was a, a, a rectangle. The steel rod was already bent. I just had to cut off uh, the ends and then bend, uh, bend it over. I didn't take into account that, the, uh, that it was wider than where I was trying to put it. So uh, I might have to squeeze those together a little bit more, but they seem to be grabbing for now. I'm going to have to fire the mill up and run it up and down and see what, uh, see what the guard does. Boy, that would be really nice to uh, have the Z-axis protected, huh? I got a feeling when it comes all the way down, it may bunch up and, you know, hit stuff with the vise, stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. tear it all the way back there. There's not too many times I'm back that far. I think I'm going to just have to put it into use and see what it uh, does. If it tears off and breaks, hey, I'm back to square one with, uh, you know, because if, if a lot of my machining is in this realm right here, which with a tool holder in there and an end mill and stuff like that, that's really about as low as I'm ever going to be. I kind of like that actually. And you know the reality is I can cut four inches off the bottom, still maintain protection and that'll help keep it from wadding up quite as much. That's where that is. 
So the reality is I could just cut it off right there all the way across. And I don't need it quite as wide. So I might get a little bit, I might, I might go ahead and just cut it down. Because if I put any bends in it, then it's not going to want to bunch up when it goes down. I think I just might cut the length off and then, uh, but, oh, but then again, well, yeah, because there's no way I'm going to be slinging chips this high up unless I'm drilling. And it'll still be covered. I was thinking, you know, uh, if it went up any further, chips would go up underneath, but, uh. Plenty of mark there. Give it a bit more pinch there. I'll have to pull it apart to run it up on there, but... Uh... Oh, yeah. That, uh... That ought to do the trick. It may not work so well pinched all the way back in there if it's got to go left and right, but... Might worry about that more when the time comes. Now this would have been the only reason to keep keep the extra length. Well, maybe I can put some kind of rubber band or something like that to hold that corner back in, you know, on both sides. Maybe run it through the hole in the casting there that goes to both sides.